and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today's recipe is actually a recipe recycle. It's been made possible by Rudy's Bakery being kind enough to ship me a few of their gluten free products to check out. Today I'll be using a couple of slices of their original gluten free sandwich bread to make, well, a sandwich. I'll be making a BLT with a twist. Instead of using mayo like I normally would, Today I decided to recycle that bean dip I made yesterday. Frankly, it has to be a little more nutritious than the mayo, and we need all the help we can get since I'm putting bacon in there. If you need the recipe for the bean dip, I'll put a link below in the description box. I'll also put a link to Rudy's Bakery so you can check them out too. I started out by taking two slices of the bread out of the freezer. As you can see, the bread has about the color of whole wheat bread, but of course there's no wheat in there. I think rice flour is one of the main ingredients. It has 90 calories a slice, which is not far off from regular bread. Then I simply popped it in the toaster and gathered my sandwich ingredients. I spread both pieces of the toasted bread with bean dip. Then added some tomato slices, a little lettuce, two slices of bacon that only look like four because I cut them in half, and this sandwich is ready to eat. Oh, and I did grab a few chips before chowing down on this tasty lunch. Now don't forget, for more gluten-free recipes, you can always visit my blog. And don't forget to check out Rudy's Bakery in the link below. Oh, and to see what I do with those hamburger buns and pizza crusts? Don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.